the Finance Bill of 2012, the Budget Policy Statement and the Public Financial Management Bill of 2012. Between them, these three documents will give you an idea of how this government and the next plan to spend your taxes between July this year and June 2013. The Finance Bill is likely to renew an old fight between MPs and the Treasury over a controversial proposal to impose price controls on retail lending rates, locking them to no more than 4 percentage points above the central bank rate and no less than 70% of the same for deposit rates. The bigger problem in the room, however, is likely to come from the spending outlay for the next financial year. According to Parliament's Budget Office, there are three key reasons why this year's budget could break the record of over a trillion shillings set by Uhuru Kenyatta in June last year. The biggest gremlin is the sheer size of the wage bill, which currently stands at 222.6 billion shillings, about 6.8% of GDP. It's expected to rise to 7.2% of GDP from June, and it could go even higher if government gives in to demand for higher wages by some civil servants. By the same token, doubling the size of parliament at present wage levels will raise the recurrent costs from 6.6 billion to 11 billion shillings in the next fiscal year and 14.3 billion the year after that. County legislators are expected to cost you another 22 billion, but it could be more if county representatives demand salaries on par with those of MPs and senators. Despite the demand for more and more money, revenues are likely to fall short of the 681 billion shillings Treasury expected in ordinary revenue from the Kenya Revenue Authority. But since the spending outlay is bigger, the gap that needs to be plugged between what should be spent and what income we actually have as a country will be filled up by debt. The Budget Office expects spending on repaying current and future debt to rise from 2.4 to 3.1% of GDP. So, Put another way, there's less money to spend, but big expectations, including more potentially wasteful spending. The Salaries and Remuneration Commission will play a key role in putting this obese government on a diet. The only question right now is how ruthless the diet would be and how fast that diet will be implemented. For Newsnight, I'm Ramanyang.